Okay, today we have a ladder deck from Ice. So a pretty standard GDI deck. It's very similar actually to one that I used to play, which was this. Um, we just have Talon instead of Mohawk. What was the reason I stopped playing this deck? All oh, right, it can't beat Slingshot. That was why I stopped playing this deck. Slingshot Shock is just like auto loss because uh, you can't kill Shock Troopers with Razorback or Talon. I mean, I had Mohawk, but you can't kill you can't kill Shocks with um, with Air. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I stopped playing the deck. Um, this deck's pretty similar. I suspect it's gonna have some pretty similar issues. Like we're never gonna be able to beat Shock Slingshot. That's just an auto loss. But um, the deck is usually pretty good if the people don't have Shock Sling. Like, it does pretty well against Nod, at least, well, the Mohawk version did. Mohawk was really good against Nod. Um, I think we'll probably still be fine against Nod. Like, Razorback Tank is good against Chuggy, which is the main thing Nod does. But yeah, I guess we'll see. We will have to wait and see. But yeah, it doesn't beat Sling ever. That was my, uh, that was my issue with the deck. Razorback. Razorback just doesn't really beat Sling. Like, Sling Shock just dumps on you. I guess I'll just go Double Missile. It's really like, I don't want to go... Because he will go Flamers and I don't want to go War Factory. Yeah, I don't want to go War Factory to fight the wheels and then have to go Air to fight the Flamers. So I need to go Missiles to fight wheels so that I can make Razorback against the Flames. It's going to be really slow. I don't think we win first Missile. I think it's just too slow. Like, going Missiles into Razorback just doesn't really beat Flamer first Missile. It kind of looks like what's going to happen here. Although maybe not. These missiles over here are going to win the left pad, hopefully. And then we just need to like buy some time on the middle. Hey, nice. We got it. Feels good, man. That was pretty, that was pretty sketchy, though. Couldn't really get enough stall going on. Razorback ain't, ain't the monster it used to be. Like, it's pretty easy just to send flamers at a Razorback. Um, even, like, Razorback protected missiles. Flamers can still do a number on them. Phantom also hard counters Razorback. Well, we got hard... No, pretty much hard counters Razorback. Now that it one-shots it, it's, it's real awkward. Obviously going to try and keep our Razorback alive. Alright, very nice, very nice. Not sure a tank is actually a good idea. Let's send this up here. Should be a win here, to be honest. Alright, let's go. Feels good, man. Enemy base destroyed. Okay, same matchup. Last one standing. So, if you're the king for 59 minutes and you lose the last game, do you lose the tournament to the guy who beat you? Also, yeah, do we have people who want to participate? Like, is there actually anyone who'd want to play? That's a pretty important part of a tournament. Oh, uh, yeah, why am I going Pitbull? This is stupid. I literally said last game I didn't want to go Pitbull because then I had to go War Factory. I mean, Air Tower against the Flames, and here I am making a Pitbull. Although, if he's just going to make bikes, it's fine. I kind of like just playing shock deck, except the anti-infantry is worse than the shocks. Yeah, this is when it gets a little awkward. I have to get a razor back to the flames. I don't think Talon is ever really an anti-infantry unit in this deck. I think Talon is literally just air to air. It's just a cheap hammerhead, basically. That's like very obviously its role in this deck. 
Ring a ring the rosy. Ring around the rosy? You know what I mean? We're going round and round and his phantom can't kill me. And you know he's not pleased about this fact. My phantom's gonna get clocked by my pit bull. Yeah. Razor back! Razor back in! You are victorious. I don't really like this map. I used to not mind it, but the more I play it, the more miserable it gets. Like, what happens on this map almost every game now is the opponent just like camps their pad with a chuggy, and it's so hard to push into chuggy laser. With like a single, with like choke point, pushing into chuggy laser is a nightmare. We're just gonna chill. Uh, I assume he's gonna make a chemical buggy. If he makes chemical buggy, do I make Pred? Probably. Can't make Mohawk because we haven't got Mohawk. So it probably has to be Predator Tank. I'm guessing that's where this game is going. Hey, what a surprise. So we're gonna have to make Predator Tank. And then what? We just wait? And then we, yeah, and it's gonna, it's the same as every time I've ever played this map. He's gonna camp his pad with a Chuggy and I can't move into it. This map is so boring now. I have to wait for Razorback to move in. Oh, and I have an Inferno as well, cool. Luckily we have the Talon, because we are talented. Yeah, you bombed my Predator alright, congrats. That's a thing that definitely happened. He's never killing both talons in time, right? Yeah. And now we play Razorback Missile. Alright, we can't play Razorback Missile because he has Chemical Buggy. That's unfortunate. And now we play Razorback Missile Predator Pitbull. <laughs> and Talon. Pretty much just gotta use all our, all our units. Uh, so he is a Chuggy Phantom Inferno deck. This seems like a pretty bad matchup because we have to make Predator Tank to fight Chuggy. And then he makes Inferno, which we have to make like Talon to fight. I guess. I don't know. It's just, it is what it is. Like, you can make the Talons, then he makes the bikes, then you gotta make Pitbulls, and then there's Inferno, and there's Chuggy, and Chuggy Laser beats most of the my deck. Oh, I missed like, I missed many times, but I think I still win. Yeah, no problem. Laser is just way too good, man, that's the problem. Laser OP. All right, off we go. Feel like against this Diamond League player, we'll probably be all right. Missile, missile opening, strong stuff. Hard countered by my mighty rifle opening. I should have moved for his harvester spot sooner. I could have blocked it with a misplay. Oh, 
Well, but we yeah. sure showed him. That shock trooper, yeah, let's put our rifles together. Building online. Guys having a bad time. That is a lot of shock troopers. That truly is a, a very large number of shock troopers. I kind of feel bad, this guy has like level 10 pit bulls, level 9 harvester. Definitely don't feel good about this win. Well, needs must. Mission <laughs> accomplished. Yeah, he needs to he needs to gem it, gem up a little. That's not gemmed up enough for sure. Objective New objective available. I wonder what it is. The game never tells you what the objective is. It just tells you there's a new one available. Planes? No, a rifle. Surprising. Uh, I'm still just gonna go raise the back. I've already got the missiles to go with it. Hale as old as time. Maybe, just maybe, he'll get that harvester and it'll all turn around for him. Is that a phantom? Uh oh. I don't want to actually do care about. Ooh, yeah, the, the, the tick tank also I care about. Oh, damn tick tank. Why is it so beefy? Oh my god, the misplaced. He has enough for a phantom as well. Yeah, I think we lose this. Well, maybe not lose the missile if they can't afford a phantom. Alright, cool.
Yep, too late. Too late, Phantom. You are victorious. Battlefield control. Three, Omar coming. Two, one. New objective received. Building online. Unit ready. Rifleman ready to move out. Unit ready. Unit ready. Move out. Hmm. Report. I'm on it. Unit ready. You got infantry. Move, move, move. Rifle, rifleman. Unit ready. We've got this. PP stole the middle from him. Feels good. And here come the preemptive bites because he wants to bite before chemical buggy. Wow, mutants. Okay, mutants are definitely going to be a problem for this deck. Yeah, mutants are going to be a real big issue. And there's the chemical buggy, so we lose this missile for sure. Maybe? Maybe the predator's fast enough to need to fire again? Yeah, Fred saves the day, let's go. Wow, and laser drones, okay. It's the Jabron deck! Oh no, not the Jabronicus deck. I hate the Jabronicus deck. Jabronicus! I hate this deck so much. That's the, ironically, this deck is like real bad versus Mohawk. But Mohawk is the unit that is uh, is different from my normal build of this deck. But yeah, the deck he's playing against just like auto loses to Mohawk. Because it only has Phantom and Laser that shoots up. I'm oh, sorry, Phantom and Bike that shoots up. It doesn't have Laser. So it has no counter to a Mohawk. At least like no good one. I mean you can counter fan you can counter Mohawk with Phantom, but you pay a hundred to not one shot it. Feels kinda bad. Oh shit. How the fuck am I gonna fight her? Obelisk. I guess I can just flip. Go be my best play. Nope. Kill it with talons? Yeah, that seems like it worked. Let's go! Oh. Man, what a grind. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective available. Okay. Car car games Building appropriately online. playing the one from the rivals. Two halves? Two harvesters? That's one more than you'd normally see a player make. So many harvesters. And now we play the waiting game. Chemical Warrior? Holy shit. Wow. Who had Chemical Warrior on their bingo card? 
That was definitely not one that I was expecting to see first unit. Banshee. Wow. Okay then. This is going to be an exciting game of Command and Conquer Rivals. Hmm. Razorback so nimble. They should call him Razor Jack. Don't really want to fight the lasers heads up with uh with, with razor back. I'd rather use rifles for that. That's a cyborg. How exciting! This game is really starting to pop off over here. <laughs> what the fuck? It takes like a week to kill a chem trooper with a Razorback. There he goes. Well, that was a good one. That was a classic game of Command and Conquer Rivals. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New objective received. Mr. Jingles. Harvester ready. Got an air tower. Air tower first. I guess we're going Pitbull. We could go Talon. Interesting choice. He went air tower first, so Talon's probably bad. I don't actually know. He probably has a hammerhead if he's going air tower first unit. He's obviously going to have an Orca. Wow, shock trooper. Okay, well, punished, I guess. Who's on Talon? Um, what do I do now? Do I just wait? Unclear for me what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, wow. Set up the concave. Build it and they will come. Yep. Build it and they will come. Hmm. Still long enough to get a Razorback. I guess that's my game plan now. We can talk about this mad lad opening drone swarm. Absolute ruinous powers over here. That is a lot of pit bulls, though. That is a lot of pit bulls. Maybe I am going to use Talon for anti infantry here. Did a bad job. <laughs> I regret using it. Did a terrible job. Do I chance to redeem itself here? No. Still bad. Surprisingly difficult to just kill shock troopers, isn't it? For a Razorback. Kind of the problem with Razorback now. It isn't very good against shock troopers and uh, flamers. Alright, looks like we got him. No Orca, very surprising. I wonder what his, like, he opened the drone swarm, mostly having the air tower. You are victorious. Moldova, Euro. What are they called? What's he called? Euro thingy. What's the Euro Eurovision Song Contest? That's it, right? 
Building online. We should listen to the Moldova entry Building again, because that's an absolute banger. Ah, I suspect we're gonna sit here and look at each other for ages whilst our opponent builds uh, Chuggy, as always. I hate this map now. This metagame has made me hate this map. Yep. Building online. Okay, is he going for my harvester? How exciting. Unit ready. What a thrilling experience. And then perhaps a chemical buggy. Who would ever expect such a thing? Oh, a giga cannon? That's much worse for me. I don't even have the mohawk, so yeah, this is this feels like it's probably an auto loss. I don't I think a be I think boosted pitbull should win. I'm not 100 percent on that. Yeah, with the boost and no protection for the Giga, the Pickle actually wins. Alright, we need to get a Predator to go on the epic flanks. Wow, he's just gonna keep building Giga Cannons. That's cool. Cool guy! This is a cool guy. We've got ourselves a cool guy over here. Right, let's see if we can get the epic flank going. Yo, my guy. You feel dumpstered by predators when you're playing Chuggy. I mean, Chuggy Giga, and you got dumpstered by a predator. When your Chuggy gets dumpstered by a predator, it might be time to just pack it in, you know? You got two two gigas, you're losing the predator tanks. It's just time to say, you know what, this game isn't for me. You say, well played, Sarah. <laughs> well played, Sarah. <laughs> you have earned this victory over me today. <laughs> I shall be leaving forthwith. <laughs> Enjoy your golden trophy. That's what he should be saying instead of like, you know, continuing to play Come on, man! We're on down the middle, and you've lost to a Giga Cannon. It's time to it's time to accept that you're this is not this is not the one for you. It's okay not to win every game. Oh, are we gonna banshee spam? Because that's always that always gets there. Should have just left with dignity. Yeah, it's too late now, bro. Should have just left with dignity when you had the chance. Now this guy's in Volkos Challenge Squad, but he's playing the same commander as last time. Does that mean that he is not Volkos Challenging? As his name would imply? Or does it mean that there's so much Oksana on ladder that he just always plays Oksana? Oh damn, level 11 Oksana? Interesting. Do the American Southern accent. I don't know if I can do the American Southern accent. I'm not really an accents master. Unit ready. Love you. Love you too, coach. It feels like a this feels like a chuggy game. I almost built my war factor and I was like, no, that's stupid. I can just rifle the war. Although, if he's Chuggy Inferno, which he probably is, then the rifle war is not great for me. We both get money and then he goes. He can go like into Infernos and Phantoms right away. So, but it's not like I can switch it up. I mean, I could go early Razorback. And then I'd, uh, I'd lose to. Um, 
Loose to the Phantom if he has it. I can't click. I can't click my units. Oh my god, chat. What a throw. I just couldn't click. <laughs> just misclicked like four times. Yeah, see, he's already got the, he's already got the Phantom. You would think killing a phantom without it shooting would be pretty big upside. Like you'd think I'd now be pretty far ahead, but who even knows? Nod is so much better than GDI. It really is. Uh, it really is disgusting. I have quite a lot of money, but I can't actually turn that into a win. A classic rival's dilemma. I'm beating my opponent by a lot, but it doesn't mean anything. Because I can't do anything with all my extra cash. Because that's how rival works. I guess I can raise it back and boost it. And then hope he doesn't have enough for Phantom. Which he might not. Given that he's lost a bunch of units in a row. Oh, I think I got him. 10 with the deck. Let's go. Truly the greatest. Oh, man. Pretty tough, pretty tough, uh, pretty, pretty tough games there. Razorback just feels like so much work now, like compared to Shock Troopers. Shock Troopers are just easy mode. I think Shock Troopers, I just like, <laughs> Shock Troopers are just so much easier to play. You just make Shock Troopers, you walk them forwards and they're great. And then you put a predator with them and you beat pretty much everything. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one from Ice. Pretty good deck. Um, definitely some hard work there though. Pred being a turtle against bike spam, the hardest part of this deck. Yeah, you gotta use pit bulls to fight predator tank, uh, to fight bikes. Like you have to use pit bulls and missiles to fight bikes. Mostly pit bulls, because the same problem with missiles. Like missiles and preds can't, can't catch bike spam. So you have to use pit bulls and missiles to fight them instead. Mostly pit bulls. Like you gotta use pit bull to fight most things. Uh, you use predator to fight like enemy tanks, big enemy vehicles, chuggy. Predator really is like anti-chuggy, that's his main job. Otherwise, you just use Pitbull for almost everything. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time.